What did you make of the Brock Purdy MVP conversation? I was tired of it because I th I thought like we're setting, and I finally gave in. I was like, fine, Brock's the MVP. I want him to win MVP. But to me, it's always been Christian McCaffrey. But the more important thing for this team is to win number six. <laughs> it's to win the damn Super Bowl. And we got home field advantage. You're two games away from the Super Bowl. As of right now, the regular season's not even over, but we can all in two weeks say, damn, we're two weeks, we're two wins away from going to the Super Bowl. Yes. Going to the Super Bowl. Now, go back to the Monday night game because I walked out of that stadium. I was Jackson. I was oh pissed. Oh, my God. I was pissed. How about my Notre Dame guy, dude, Kyle Hamilton? Dude, dude, Anna was like, oh, my gosh. Why is Brock looking so bad? She was devastated. <laughs> devastated. <laughs> Anna was down bad? Down bad because of Brock. <laughs> She's riding high with Brock and riding low. But listen, she was devastated, but I kept thinking, I'm like, Damn, when we had the conversation in the offseason, should we trade for Lamar Jackson? That's why. Shasky, got to watch Burrow this year. I know you got to watch Mahomes uh -huh. last year. Seeing Lamar Jackson, I wish you were there in person. Yeah, he was amazing. He, after the first two drives, he was amazing. everything was on point. Accuracy, sidearms, running, everything. Now, he's going to win the MVP. Fine, whatever. He's better this year than he was that, that year he won the MVP. He's and then what he did to Mi Miami last week? Uh, it was unreal. It was unreal. He's throwing Zay, deep. He's throwing short. He's Zay running. Flowers. I mean, Zay Flowers. Zay, now, by the way. 92 on their defensive line is so underrated. We, if we had to see them boys again, yeah. and I'm not going to talk about them until we have to see them because you talk about Exeterans and Tylenols. Mm -hmm. That's what the Baltimore Ravens give me mm. when I think about them. Their wide receivers got separation all day on everybody. Whether it was Ambry Thomas, whether it was Jason Verrett, whether it was Traverius Ward, them guys got separation all day long. Zay Flowers was unguardable in that football I game. I know, and that was without having Andrews. I know. I mean, like they they, they looked very impressive. That, that was likely, a thorough yeah. beatdown. What likely did to Jair Brown? Well, Isaiah likely is a solid player. I think yeah. we've underrated him. You yeah. know, the other thing that I'm watching these 49ers, just a uh, general consensus, I was having different conversations with people. Some of my favorite teams, and I know everyone's going to put championship teams above, yeah. uh, like non-championship teams. Take championships and that's, off the board. It, it, some of my favorite teams that have shaped my life as a sports fan are teams that didn't win at all. The '93 Giants come to mind. Like it's one of my favorite teams of all time. Now, is it going to jump over the 2010 Giants? Probably not, because the 2010 Giants, like your first, is always incredible, right? But the '93 team is special. It, absolutely. 2007 Golden State Warriors. For a lot of people our age, yep. that's the team we believe, right? And and. Is that better than the 2015 or the 2016 Warriors that won 73 or the team that won the championship the year prior? Like, probably not. But, like, I loved that team. Like, there was something about that team that I loved. The 2011 Niners. I loved that team. I'm not here today. I'm not ready just yet. But I feel like the 2023 49ers are my favorite 49er team of all time. Wow. My favorite left tackle. Wow. My favorite running back. And I can't believe I'm saying that because Frank Gore is one of my favorite 49ers of all time. Right. Debo Samuel, I've fallen back in love with him. Ayuk is unbelievable, just just an absolute stud. Brock Purdy might be the best story at quarterback in the history of the game. Dude. Think about that. I mean. They got two for, linebackers who right. can play in any era who yeah. are my favorites. You know I love Nick Bosa. Right. This secondary has been coming of age. I love the coach. I love the GM. The owner hasn't said boo-hoo. He's just been forking <laughs> out money left and right. The fan base travels better than anyone. This might be my favorite Niner team ever. Yeah. They're the I, number one seed. They got weeks until legit. they play their next important they're game. They're legit. They're legit. I mean, having four guys go over 1,000 all scrimmage yards. Think about that. That's crazy. Not, not, listen. I, 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 four I, guys. I, I like to toot my own horn at times. I do. But I didn't imagine them having four guys going for over a thousand on purpose yards. I did. Christian McCaffrey, Kittle. I mean, Kittle just went over a thousand yards. Now, if Debo plays and has a monster game, he can go over a thousand yards. But the fact that we have two thousand yard receivers, another wide receiver over nine hundred yards, and a running back over two thousand all scrimmage yards, or he's gonna—I think he may fall short. I haven't looked at the updated stats, but I know he's not gonna play Week 18. Christian McCaffrey. He's got over two thousand all purpose. He's, it's already over, yeah, over two thousand. Yeah, the, the broadcast so, was saying us over two thousand, and you got Brock Purdy with the single season passing yardage. Yes, Mark. He leads the Niners, and he sat in a billion fourth quarters, and he's had far fewer passing attempts than Jeff Garcia and Steve Young did. So you got that, and I'm like, wow, this is definitely the most explosive offense I've seen. Possibly since ninety four, possibly since eighty nine, ninety. I don't know why. I, I, well, I don't know where I rank them. We're in the middle of team. it. It's hard. Yeah, twenty eleven to me is such a fun team because those guys were perennial losers. Yes, I agree. And you saw them in real time figure out how to win. Yes, and you saw it 
Week three or week two against Cincinnati, they won ugly. Or week three against Cincinnati, they won ugly that year, mm-hmm. thirteen to eight. Then they finally believe and they come back against Philadelphia and they end the dream team and Michael Vick and Chip Kelly and all those, or Andy Reid and all those guys. So that one is up there. But this team is definitely lovable. They're definitely watchable. They're easy to root for. I mean, they're all in their prime. Like, like even Trent Williams, who's like at the end of his career, right. it's like, yeah, he's still in his prime, which is insane. And and the thing that I think about too, B. You're looking at a team, whether it's McCaffrey, Debo, whether it's Fred Warner, these are evolutionary type players who will usher the next generation of football Mm -hmm. where they're going to model their game after those guys, right? And then I'm looking at Drake Greenlaw, and I'm like, Drake Drake Greenlaw, how many people is Drake Greenlaw their favorite player? It's a lot of people. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I love Dre. I, I love, love Dre, Dre Greenlaw. Dre Greenlaw's I, awesome. I don't mind him pile driving a guy here and there. But you I need that. need nine guys before I get to <laughs> I him. Know. I know. Mean, That's how good they are. But then you, you get some of the other guys, too. Like Javon Hargrave has come back from the hamstring Absolutely. injury and played very well. Jake Brindle's been but, awesome. Jake Brindle's been good. We don't even good. talk about him. We don't talk about him. Feliciano's coming off the bitch. Aaron Banks has been really good. Yeah, he has. At left guard. So, look, man, everything is set up for the 49ers, man. They're two games away from the Super Bowl. Two games away. And we didn't think they were going to get hopeful of advantage. Remember, we were yelling at each I other. But they're not going to get hopeful of advantage. I, I was like, dude, who cares? They can win three games. Well, you know what? Don't have to worry about that. They don't have to get on another flight until they get to Las Vegas. I mean, B, look around the NFC. It's Detroit. Come on, really? It's the Cowboys. Really? Yeah. It's Tampa, Green Bay. Hey, you know what? Though? Come on, man. And Philly's I'll, done. Write want, them off. I want the Eagles in round two. Oh, I, I want to that. send them back home on a long flight Sirianni. so bad. Oh, 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 my God. God that guy. Those what guys. a dope. <laughs> AJ Brown, thank you for how, calling out Sirianni how, without how, saying anything. How about your boy from 94 WIP? Which one? The guy with Short Parks. Oh, that guy. The most Niners are the most overrated contender, or the Eagles are now underrated. <laughs> and they lose to Arizona. <laughs> and they lose to Arizona. Oh. Where does that crack come into play oh, we for you? We broke them. <laughs>